So hi there everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Look See, my name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you. And in this one we are looking at Orbit Industries, which we've been provided before its release to take a look at. Now I have actually tried this game twice. Uh, first I tried a demo back in June one of the Steam Fests, and then because this is now the full version I've been given, um, I tried it just to see if I could turn it into a series somehow. And there may be something we can do in the future, I'm not sure. Um, but we'll have to have a think about it. So we're going to have a look at it in this episode, see what you think, we'll let you know it is. But the link for the game is in the video description, as per usual, along with links from things like my Discord and everything. But of course, like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Let's get on with it. Alright. So we're going to start a new mission. Um... We're going to turn everything on to easy because we need to, I said I've not, it's an endless mode. There's a creative mode. Well, we'll go, we'll just go right at the top one. Good day, Commander. This briefing will guide you through the main tasks in Orbit Industries. Your task will be to extend the station and produce resources. These resources are needed to generate income from contract work, so-called projects. Right. This view shows all projects which are currently available. Completing projects will produce income or unlock new technologies. And some will progress you through the mission. Icons inside the project entry show which kinds of resources are needed to start the project. If a system is missing that produces this resource, it is grayed out. In this case a briefing center needs to be built before the project can be started. The station can be extended at connectors. There are blue and yellow ones that each link specific modules. Select a blue connector since the briefing center can only be built there. I'll build it up there. Um, that one. I'm going to build it kind of like that. This view lets you control which resources are produced. Only fully wired systems produce resources. These will be required by projects or other systems. Right there. Systems that are required by the briefing center are already placed and fully wired. Required systems are shown as input in the overview panel of a system chip or the chip itself. I don't control buttons, are I okay? The briefing center is fully connected. Projects that depend on it can now be accepted. The project is now ready to be started. Processing a project takes some time. You can see the progress when you select the tabs to filter on the left. Okay. Fair enough, I think. More projects will be available from now on. 
follow the mission projects to achieve the overall objective. Great success. Commander, a ship on its patrol on the Galgar system borders found a wrecked ship. The model and origin species could not be determined. They had asked us if we could investigate the shipwreck. Alright, so that's the mission one there. The rescue team has been dispatched. We expect them to return in a few ticks with results. A running project occupies systems so they are unavailable for other projects as long as the project is active. Okay. But we have got other ones here that we can do. That one seems to be worse. So all of those are... So that's our exterior view. That's where we put it all together. This habitat capsule's not connected. We may as well connect it. They're still going on. What's that needed? So it's one that looks like a swirly thing. I just noticed it's like creed it. Now surely that's gonna to have to be connected now. An admin system. I suppose you kind of gotta think about how it how lines are gonna run. Every system that is placed costs upkeep each tick. The amount can be seen on the overview panel of systems or their modules. The global income and expenditure of your station is listed inside the station management interface in the tab finance overview. Commander, the rescue team has returned from shipwreck and the results are available for review in the station management interface. Commander, the rescue team recovered an encrypted data core from the unknown ship, besides that, there was nothing more that could be rescued. I think we should task our scientists to decrypt the data core as soon as possible. Be aware that credits are only earned upon completion of projects. So station information. No. Nope. 
So this is the detail. Oh no, it's just the details of the module. So this one's ready. Our best data engineer started to decipher the encrypted core. At a first glance, the used encryption does not reflect any known algorithms to us. This might take a while. Um, well, before I do anything else, I want to see... See, we got went there. If there are two or more blue connectors on a preview module, you can choose between them. All right, so these are different modules for. So those are connectors. Right. Um, we'll start that one. And we'll start that one. I'm not. Oh, I was just finance overview. Here we go. Balance. So the upkeep is 5.5k. So I suppose we kind of got to be above that, so this keeps growing. But it's not growing. So we need to create blue, green. So you output orange, purple, green. Red, blue. Good news, Commander. Our data engineer successfully deciphered the recovered data core. Results are ready to review in the station management interface. Um, there. 
Commander, breaking the encryption was a hard task for all staff involved but it seemed to be just the tip of an iceberg of secrets. Against expectations, the data core did not only hold ship logs, mapping coordinates or crew diaries. While some data couldn't be restored, a big part of it looked like a compendium of cultural, historical and technological information. An extensive data comparison should be carried out in order to determine similarities with known data. Right, so we got mission one. See, I think it's because... We have a short sh orange. Um, must be with there you go, rotate that way. So let's go to here. It's not orange, it's kind of that. Okay. That one. energy airlock or lab I just realised. Come out of this. F. Multiple projects are awaiting completion in the station management interface.
Right, so let's go. <coughs> the administration team is eagerly starting to filter and category the vast amount of new data. Do that one, and we can do that one. I think that must be energy. Yeah, so what's that? Ah. So I reckon if we've got another one there. Rotated. Let's mantle that. See, what we'll do is if I go th there. The output of a system is distributed to its connected systems. If a system gets less than the maximum of any input resource, its efficiency is reduced. This will slow down progress of running projects that depend on these systems, while the upkeep costs of the used systems stay the same. See, we're not short no there is yet another resource that all systems need which is not distributed through wires workforce in this mission you started with some workforce already this resource is needed to keep the efficiency of other systems at their maximum so in the end they will produce faster building and connecting workforce systems will increase the maximum workforce that is available on your station it will slowly increase until it reaches the limit you can see the available workforce on the left and the required on the right side of the parameter panel. Yeah. We're looking at this. It's this green one which we need 
which I reckon atmosphere so I think it's that one Commander, the administration has filtered and categorized the data from the recovered data core. We should see what they found. Yeah, we're going to get this deployed. So that should I'm not sure of anything. Got ya, now understanding it. Data comparison showed that 92% of the contained and readable information was similar to already known knowledge. Within the 8% left that was unknown, star position data extracted from the core showed that the ship was from an unmapped region near the center of the galaxy. Not reachable within the current technical limits and based on its age and engine, the ship could not have traveled the distance by itself. Given the origin of the data, to determine the further procedures with the game's knowledge, a commission of external consultants, experts and decision makers should be formed. So what? Okay. Supply 160, demand 158. So I reckon we need to put another... Habitat module. I love the fact that it's so I think we need more oh. It's the only thing I can think it can be. Yeah. 
Thank you, Commander. The first steps to form a commission are underway. Um. We've done everything. We've started everything we can. Got a slight shortage of atmosphere. So we're looking for an orange connector. Which I don't think I've got any of. I reckon if we go there. There. Right, so then you go there. That creates a power shortage. No, there. So I go there. Connect the battery in. I think we've done the sensible thing by keeping, keeping the cables as kind of close as they can. Mission one's about to be complete. Commander, the Commission has completed its analysis of the data and made a particular interesting discovery. More information is available in the station management interface. Further analysis of the recovered data core revealed an extremely advanced type of subatomic energy compound. For easier communication, Omega Q was chosen as a project name for this compound. A basic resource for Omega Q is a rare metallic mineral. The Commission requests the construction of a mine to start the production of Omega Q. That gets us a couple of active missions. So the mission would need it's this one here, this symbol. got so 
So I think by doing the research... So from the looks of it, you've got to do X amount of like mission stuff. You need know, weird looking space stations. I do like that connector. That pushes it out a bit further. As I said, you can end up with some really bizarre looking space ships. So I want to see what these unlock and There we go, look, it's that one there. Cor corridor? No. Cor I'm trying to think what it could stand for. I mean, lab. Admin. Let's see how it's radio. So I reckon we're going to get that from that one. And that'll be drone squad there. So let's have a look at, yeah. So that got his drone squad. Okay. Gotta put a radio dish on it. It's clever. I must I'll give it that. Okay, it's got a a supply thing I don't know. No 
point putting it there because we wouldn't be able to get to it. Station overview. We're short of computing power. And water. enough to do that it's not there put in another one of those but yeah this game is addictive but I don't as I said I couldn't see how I could do a series and I still don't really know how I could do a series with it um, I do like it and I probably will as continue your station gets bigger the chance for errors increases as well they can occur on every module and will have a negative impact on the efficiency of your station systems with errors have reduced efficiency the more severe an error is the worse the efficiency will be Do that way. Um, yeah. Interesting. I mean, I think this is the sort of game I could play on you know, behind the scenes in the background. It might be good for a stream. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is it something you want to see of more? Thank you to the developer for letting me play this in advance. Uh, the link, as I said, is in the video description. It's due out 21st of April um, if you view this before its release. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Come back for more. Notification bell to be number four when we upload. And I'll see you next time.